joy, gratitude, exhilaration. In my almost five years of doing gig economy work part-time, I've made the most money ever in one day. I'm so eager to share it with you. My name is Russ and I make videos to help drivers like you. So just like you, I'm sure you've looked on the internet. Can you make 200, 300, $400 per day routinely as a gig economy worker? Well, I'm here to tell you that I've done it. I've done it, I've succeeded, and I'm so happy to share some secrets with you on how I did it. What I'm briefly going to do is break down the orders that I did and share some exciting parts during the day. Next, I'm going to give you those key learnings. Is it possible to routinely make this kind of money? And then I'm going to wrap it up with some stats, the hours that I worked, the mileage, and just the total of what I made. So I'm so excited. Let's get started. This all started on September 1st, Friday, leading into the Labor Day weekend. I was just going to make a video only doing Instacart and just put it to the test, see if I could make a lot. I don't know if you follow Daryl Delivers. On his channel, he gives you tips of just take a dollar per item and some other things. So I was going to put it to the test. But as it works out, I'm glad I didn't take this first Instacart order because it was 52 items. By the time I finished, I already have made almost $50 doing two other orders, so let me share that with you. The first was a high-paying Uber Eats order, and I picked up from the restaurant, and then I dropped it off to a lady at a hotel. Seemingly soon right after, I got an order on Grubhub, and this one was from a restaurant delivering across town, but high pay. I ended up getting a $15 tip. And what was unique with this gentleman is it was 9.30 in the morning, and he opened his door, and this plume of marijuana smoke came out and I could tell either he has some medical issues but either way he wasn't going to be able to drive to get that order so I appreciate that $15 tip. I really wanted this to be an Instacart video today but I'm just making too much money multi-apping. I started at 8 30 and it's now 10.06. I already made $51 there. And then I got this quick Instacart. It was just an easy two boxes of chips $10 low mileage. I also made myself available on Amazon Flex, and then I saw I could schedule a block for an Amazon Fresh delivery, which I really love, and that's from 2 to 4 today. So this is going to be great. I've already locked in $110, and it's 10.07. I ended up in another town, and I maybe got two orders on Grubhub and one on Uber Eats, and then I finished up with an Instacart order right before I needed to uh, get offline and prepare for that Amazon Fresh delivery. Incidentally, that Instacart order, it seemed like a really quick one, and it was in Target, but then I got bogged down shopping for dog toys, and I had limited connection there, so that made it tough. Another interesting thing with this order, she also had baby food, so I could tell she probably couldn't get out of the house, and I was there to help her, so I didn't mind, and it dovetailed perfectly with the Amazon Flex order. And I'm sure by now you can tell my excitement in this next clip when I start off prepping for Amazon Fresh. I am so excited. I'm well on my way to over a $200 day today in the gig economy. So if you want to see how I did it, come along and join me. So far from 8.30, it's now 1.45. I've done four Grubhub orders, two Uber Eats orders, and I think two Instacart orders. I've made $113. I've only driven 76 miles. And in just a couple minutes, I'm going to put on my Amazon Flex vest. And I was able to reserve an Amazon Fresh delivery here from two to four. $50 plus tips, and they estimate total would be $78. So you can see, really close to $200. And guess what that leaves tonight? the dinner rush. So join me on this journey. Let's go do these Amazon Flex drop-offs and then we'll see what the day brings. Oh, finally, I broke free. Oh, I can't stand the locked down apartment complexes, condos. You have to pass through security. If you notice, you can't park anywhere under threat of being towed. So I'm really glad I got to do that order and I'm glad that I get to get out of here and let's move on to the next one. And I can tell you for sure, when you go out to the valley, parking's an issue, elevators, getting access to the building. And I'll just show you this brief clip of me having to carry this wagon up the stairs with 12 packages because that was the only way up. So we do earn our money when we're out there doing food delivery, grocery shopping, Amazon Flex, 
all the varieties of gig work. It's hard work and that's why we get paid. All right, so the fun continues. You can see, let's go up there. So another example, gotta have one of these bags. Oh. Good times, good times. After almost finishing that Amazon Fresh delivery block in that tower, it was nice to meet you, Manny. He drives for Amazon and he was sharing how busy he is and, and issues with getting access to those buildings. And I feel for you because it was a lot of fun trying to get in there and have my wagon and cart those groceries around. As I was leaving town, wouldn't you know, I got a Bristol Farms delivery. So Mel, I finally got one. It was well worth it. And shout out to Holly, it was very nice to meet you as well. Thank you for making all those bags. I hope you're able to get on Amazon Flex as well and Instacart and add some supplemental income. So for the dinner rush, I ended up getting three Grubhub orders. They all went pretty smoothly. My last order of the evening was from Instacart. It was a $71 bottle of wine for a customer. And after I dropped that off, I was really surprised because Amazon Flex sent me another order. But this one, you know, it was already 8 o'clock, 8.30 at night. It was going to have me delivering groceries out to Malibu. And I'll bet you I'd have easily cleared $100 with tips. But that was too late for me. I had already driven 12 hours. But that was another earning opportunity. In light of all this hard work that I've shared with you today, is it possible for you to do the same thing? Is it? You see the videos like I do making big claims of money. Can you do it too? Have you seen Dash with Ash's recent video? She made an insightful video on this topic as well, so let me encourage you to watch it. From my perspective, yes, it is possible to make this kind of money. However, can you do it regularly? That's not the case. This is a one-time thing. Five years almost of working, and this is the highest amount of money I've ever made. So I would say that's not necessarily true. I would find it hard to believe that you could routinely make this kind of money. In my case, my availability dictates everything. I usually do it during the weekdays, during the day. So I'm happy if I can pay for my gas and then pocket $100. That's success for me. Obviously, there's days where I'm making about $140, $150. Rarely, I used to make almost 200 a few times, but that's been a few years now. So in my case, I would say that it's not common to be able to make this kind of money all the time. I'm happy I did it this one time. And hey, if all these gig apps send me these orders, I'll do them. But for drivers out there, I would just say it's not feasible to always expect that you're always going to be able to make this kind of money. So I hope you're able to adjust your expectations based on that. Again, check out Ash's video. Like in other videos, tips I've given you to earn money, doing it during peak meal hours is key. And then also don't work just for an hour. If you can spend several hours working, that's gonna increase your time. Because if you have to just do one order and then go do something else, that's gonna be disruptive. So give yourself enough time to work, work during peak meal times. And then obviously if there's any sort of promotions or holidays coming up where people are gonna be stocking up, those would be the prime times to make money, just like this Friday was. I know Monday is, was going to be dead because of previous holidays. But again, it differs on every market. So do your own research and you could do tests. Try it for yourself and see. Just don't have high expectations of being able to make such high earnings regularly. All right, so how much did I make? I made $298.72. I worked 8.30 in the morning, 8.30 at night, that's 12 hours. I drove 170 miles. So let's break down all those stats. When you do the dollars per mile, that works out to $1.76 per mile. That's great, especially for being out there all day. And I ended up an hourly wage of making $24.89. This is before expenses and taxes. If you look at the IRS rate, that's 65 and a half cents per mile. So 170 times 0.655, that ends up $111. So you can see this is close. It depends on your car. My car's old and I paid $50 for gas. So that other 60 is for depreciation, maintenance, tires, things like that. So I would say the IRS rate is accurate. So in total, for the entire day, I did two Uber Eats orders, seven Grubhub, two blocks of Amazon Flex, 
to Instacart orders. I know I had a great day, and I trust that you got to enjoy seeing me make that money. And I, what I want you to do is apply these lessons to yourself as well to help you. Up next, I have a video for your consideration where I give you tips on how to be the best driver possible. So learn from that, and I'll see you in my next one.